Welcome to this Omics Visualizer tutorial. This will be a hands-on demonstration of how you can use a Cytoscape app to visualize complex Omics data on networks. If you've never heard of Omics Visualizer before, I recommend that you go watch my brief introduction to the app before continuing with this tutorial. Here, I'll use Omics Visualizer to first import an Omics dataset as a table. As an example, I will use a phosphoprotein Omic study, which can of course have multiple sites per protein, and happens to also compare three different experimental conditions, which makes it more complicated to visualize. After importing the data, I'll retrieve a network from string, and then show the site-specific data on the protein nodes using the so-called donut visualization. In this visualization, each node is shown as usual in Cytoscape, but with donuts around it where each slice represents a different phosphorylation site and the different rings represent comparisons of different conditions, showing the log fold change values with a color gradient. Let's get on with it. Welcome to Cytoscape. To use Omics Visualizer, we must first install it by opening the App Store, searching for it, selecting Omics Visualizer and clicking the Install button. A short moment after, the Omics Visualizer app will have been installed and we can close the App Store again. If we now go to the File menu, we will find a new option that is called Import Omics Visualizer Table from File. Selecting that, we can now choose the file with the phosphoproteomics data and click Import. A preview window will show the data and clicking import will import it into a data table in Cytoscape. As you can see, the table has many columns, including the uniproduct session numbers of the proteins, the modified residue numbers, that is the phosphorylated residues, and two different log fold change values representing two different pairwise comparisons of the three conditions. If we click the string icon inside the Omics Visualizer table, we get a dialog allowing us to use String App to easily retrieve a string network. It has already selected human as the default organism and uniprot as the column to use to query with names from. I thus only need to adjust the confidence threshold, which I changed to 0.8 and click Retrieve Network. A short moment after, I get the string network. Since this is a rather big network, I need to go to the View menu and turn on Always Show Graphics Details. I adjust the side window for string and turn off the string colors to make the visualization less confusing later and turn off, similarly, the show structure images. Having now a simpler view of the string network, I go and click the Donut button in Omics Visualizer, select a dataset that I want to visualize, select the other column I want to visualize, select a column called AA Positions that I want to use as labels on my visualization, go to the next page in the dialog. Here I adjust the color scale for the color gradient to go from minus 5 to plus 5 on the log fold chain scale, and when I click Draw, it will draw the Omics Visualizer donut visualizations onto the nodes in the string network. The network is a bit dense, so to improve the layout, I use the Y files option to reduce overlaps and further use the layout tools to scale up the network by a factor of two to spread out the nodes. If we zoom in on a part of the network, you can now see how for each protein I have a node with two different circles around it with different segments representing different phosphorylation sites all of which have been colored according to the data from the phosphoproteomics dataset and labeled with amino acid residue numbers. That's all I'll be showing you today. If you want to learn more about how you can visualize omics data on networks, I recommend that you go take a look at this presentation next. Thanks for your attention.